Hello everyone, hope you're all well. I hope you had a good Christmas. I know we had a good one here, no complaints. Uh, I'll get right into the subject here. Uh, thoughts on 2022, and I know a lot of people are talking about resolutions and we're, you know, we're winding down on 2021, uh, heading into a new year. Uh, I don't believe that much will change when we cross over on New Year's Day to 2022. Uh, however, uh, as far as my thoughts on 2022, the, when I really think about it, and I've been thinking about it for the last uh, couple of days or so, the, the biggest word that comes to my mind is uncertain or uncertainty uh, in that I, I don't know what to think. I, I'm, you know, I think on one hand, it could be a real doozy and it could be uh, um, worse or uh, much more uh, uh, Twilight Zone-ish uh, than 2021 was. It very well could be. Uh, on the other hand, it could just kind of, uh, you know, all these little crazy things we've been, been seeing over the last year and a half or so uh, could just start to water down and become background noise. You know, we could start easing into uh, a more uh, closer to uh, normal. Uh, now, are we going to the normal of 2018 uh, to early 2019? No, I don't believe so. I don't believe that's coming back anytime soon, if ever. Uh, I hate to say never, so, you know, it could, but I think that would take a while. Uh, I'm breaking this down into several different uh, fronts, but uh, the first thing is the health crisis. I'm gonna call it the health crisis. So uh, I believe that, you know, as we see, that's going to continue. Uh, for whatever reason you believe it is, you know, or started it or whatever, that's not really the point, but it's going to continue. Uh, the much of the world, not so much the U.S. here, it depends on where you live here in the United States, but much of the world is in some sort of lockdown. Uh, many are tightening that. Uh, if you look at a lot of Europe, uh, New Zealand, Australia, a lot of you folks are telling me this. Uh, I see it in China and uh, other parts of Asia where things are locking down tighter again, it seems like March of 2020. So, or something similar. Uh, so this is over this uh, newest variant. And uh, I ran across an article, well, actually this article was sent to me by a viewer, a subscriber. I'm gonna link it in the uh, description and see what you think about it. It's not very long, but Basically, it says that army, army scientists are warning that this may not be the big one. Uh, they caution that as far as variants. Uh, they caution that the nation remains vulnerable to a viral variant, one that would be much more severe, one that would result in many more lives lost than what we've seen so far. Basically, they are working on uh, treatments uh, that would uh, that would try to head off anything like that. Now, uh, I can't help but be very uh, skeptical of that kind of thing. Now, it might be true, uh, but see what you think. I'd like to get your thoughts on that, you know. But I I'm not sure how they develop such things before really knowing exactly what it is, or maybe they do. Who knows? But it seems like the trend here is that we just see wave after wave of this thing coming, you know, and uh, I have no reason to believe that it's going to stop. I really don't. So, uh, and the powers that be, whether it's your governor uh, or higher or, or globally and other nations, uh, they, you know, human nature, those in power, they're not going to be so uh, uh, high on giving away uh, that power. You know, I believe they're going to keep trying to consolidate power and get tighter control on the people. Uh, that will just continue, I believe. What do you think? You know, let me know what you think there. But again, wave after wave is hitting us. And, uh, you know, it really just makes you wonder what's behind it all. Who? There is somebody. Uh, a small group. I know we've mentioned this before. Uh, that is behind this, you know. Maybe it's somebody who hasn't revealed themselves yet. 
Maybe. Am I just way off? I don't know. So that's the health crisis. Economics, uh, very uncertain right now. I mean, inflation continues to go up. That's not stopping. Uh, the national debt, and as far as the United States, the national debt just keeps going up. You know, I think it's, I forget, uh, eight, nine trillion, something like that. Uh, so that's not going down. That's not uh, getting any better. Uh, you've got energy costs uh, that, are, that keep going up. Uh, everything, just about food, goods, um, homes, automobiles, homes. How do people, how do people afford a home now? I, I, I know a good many can, but, you know, your average middle-class person, family even, even two income earners, I don't see how they're doing it. I really don't. Uh, I know when we look at the prices uh, around us, you know, uh, we've been in our place here four years, and uh, we could not, absolutely, we could not afford what uh, our home would sell for now. No way. No way, we couldn't do it. Uh, so we feel very fortunate that we got in here four years ago. Uh, so I don't see how people are doing it. I really don't without some help or something. And that's gonna continue. Uh, I think the, the trend is going to continue of these big investment groups, uh, buying up homes and neighborhoods, depending on where you live. Some places may not be seeing much of this or not yet. Uh, buying up homes, paying way over uh, what the the, the value, the market value is, and then turning around and renting them. Uh, you know, so I think that trend will continue uh, because they don't want you to own it. You know, so uh, so that's homes, automobiles. Good Lord. I mean, uh, if you're trying to buy a used vehicle right now, good luck. Uh, you might be better off buying brand new if you can find it. So that's an interesting thing. That won't change anytime soon, I don't believe. That'll continue into 2022. Uh, the supply chains look uh, still pretty tattered right now. Uh, and that may worsen if these lockdowns continue. That's my concern there. So, especially Asia. Uh, retail seems like it's in trouble just in, in general, especially your in-person, going into person stores, your retail. And that might also differ depending on where you live. I know some people tell me the malls are just packed where they are or the outlet malls or whatever you call them now. Uh, and then I hear some people say that it's desolate, that, uh, you know, uh, things just seem very bad. So uh, that could differ in some states. But I think in general, retail is in trouble uh, other than online. Online is strong. People are, are, are buying more that way as well. So understandably. Uh, so also... A shift here, a little shift of gears, uh, science. The, the, have you been following this James Webb telescope thing? I mean, that is amazing. I mean, uh, I started following it about a week ago, and I had heard a little bit about it before this, but, uh, you know, it launched on Christmas Day. And this thing is huge. I mean, it's going to uh, go out about a million miles from Earth. It's going to orbit around the sun uh, in tandem with Earth. And I mean, from what I read, this thing is going to make the Hubble look like the Stone Age, the Hubble telescope. Uh, it's going to outdate that big time. But so they should be able to really see a lot of interesting things out there in the cosmos. I believe they could see very interesting things. I believe uh, that they could see some very terrifying things. Uh, if it's the latter, I doubt we're going to hear about it. That's just my view. I hope we do. I hope we hear. I hope we see and hear what they uh, what they discover out there. I really do. Whether it's positive or negative, um, what do you think? What do you think about that? But I think it's a pretty fascinating thing. I really do. That that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, shifting back uh, uh, to hot spots around the world. You got, of course, the China Taiwan thing. A lot of people have been talking about this. China Taiwan, uh, Russia Ukraine. The one that really concerns me, though, right now is more so is Israel or uh, Iran, Israel. And, uh, you know, I think uh, Israel, among others, uh, do not want Iran to have the, the, the capability uh, to have nukes. And so uh, I believe they would take preemptive action right there. They may be planning it 
uh, to do that, and, and that could, could spiral into a wider conflict. So that little area right there really, uh, really concerns me the most, especially 2022 really does and China and Taiwan too I'm not as much worried right now about Russia Ukraine I really I'm really not uh, at least for now <laughs> that could change next week you know so and uh, just to, to other things political we got midterms coming up in 2022 again uncertain unpredictable I hear people say well all oh, the Republicans are gonna conservatives are gonna just sweep I don't know about that I I wouldn't bet the house on that one uh, I really don't I really don't. I think it's very unpredictable, uh, especially if you have mail-in voting. Anything can happen, as we've seen. I won't go any further into that uh, for now. Keep preparing. Keep prepping. Uh, whatever you can do to prepare yourself to be more self-sufficient in the new year, please do it. I know we're exploring ways here as well to do that. One thing that is not unpredictable, one thing that doesn't change is God, uh, the Lord our God. So. He is timeless. Uh, he is the constant. He is always there. Jesus Christ uh, is always our rock and our redeemer. And uh, we should keep praying, keep close to that, close to him as well. So uh, please share your thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think about 2022. And I would appreciate it. Take care. Be aware out there. God bless you. I will see you soon.